Hey guys, I'm Megan Kingsford and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you're here. If you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I love strollers and diaper bags probably the same as you do. And if you're looking for a lightweight, compact micro stroller, you really need to look no further than what I have behind me. It is the Bugaboo Ant, which is new from Bugaboo for this year, 2019. And it is a super cool stroller that we've been really, really enjoying. I have three kids, a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. We've been a Bugaboo family for a good long while now. Several, several Bugaboo videos, which I'll link in the description box. I'm going to quickly now walk you through some of the features of the Bugaboo Ant and then tell you about how it's been working out for my family and my kids, how I feel about it overall. Sound like a plan? Let's do it. Here we have the Bugaboo Ant already set up. You can see that the canopy in this position covers really, really well for sun protection. It can lay all the way back, meaning you could put a very, very small baby here. The canopy can be zipped and then shortened as needed. And so you have one recline position, two, and three sitting all the way upright. We love to use it in this position as kind of a high chair when we go out. Two handle positions, one, and then a much longer one. My husband prefers this one, and I prefer the slightly shorter one. Now, if you're like me and you've owned or looked at a Bugaboo B, um, this is a very similar situation where the basket is accessible from the front. But one thing I really love about this stroller is that it has like a mesh compartment here that is separate from the open basket. And the reason they did this is so that you can put, you know, items here that when you fold the stroller, don't move, don't fall out. The other really cool feature of this stroller is when you want to turn your child around. One tip I have is to make sure all of your straps are kind of pulled in together before you try to fold the stroller so nothing gets caught. And that way when you go to fold it, you can simply slide it out and then you can pull the seat back and pull up, open up the seat. It really takes no time at all to get that set up. And now you have your child in the front facing position, which has two settings. This one where it's leaning back here and a more upright position, which also works really well when you go to wheel this into a restaurant or up to a table. What I love to do is sit my son up into this nice and tall position and then put my handle all the way down and then collapse it as far as possible. And now your footprint of this stroller is basically like next to nothing. And when we lived in Japan, like this would have been beyond helpful. We had the B at the time, which I wouldn't trade for that situation, but this is so compact that if you're looking at doing international or city travel with a baby, obviously, um, this might be like the option for you. Now let's talk about folding the stroller into its most compact state. You're going to pull the sides in and they're gonna click. You hit the top down just like that. It's a really well-made stroller so you don't have to worry about hurting it in any way. Folding the seat down until it is flat. One thing to know is that when you are putting the handle down, you don't wanna drop it like this before you try to push. That won't really work. That's not how it's made. You need to keep this part straight until you reach the bottom. You release the white levers, sorry, on the side until everything clicks into place and your cup holder falls off, just kidding. Um, tuck that into the basket. And now you have an incredibly compact stroller that is very lightweight. I did see there's going to be an upcoming accessory that is a shoulder strap for the ant. And there's this cool feature where you can extend your handle all the way out, make sure your stroller is unlocked. And now you'll be able to wheel your stroller through the airport just like so. When you are going to get your stroller ready and out of its, you know, locked and compact position, pull that handle up, release the tabs here, make sure they click into place, and then pull your seat up, undo those as well, pull the tab here at the top, and you're once again ready to stroll. It's literally such a fast and easy setup. Now that we've looked at like the overview and the features, I did just wanna speak to you, like my feelings about like the construction and the handling quickly, cause I'm running out of battery. I have tried to abuse this stroller over the last six weeks and it has held up really, really well. It does not do great on like playground sand. 
um, which is kind of be expected. The wheels are smaller. It maneuvers really well, even with the attached ride board. Here's the thing, like it is a, like a less expensive bugaboo stroller and B, supposed to be very, very lightweight and compact. And so those two things do mean that the stroller has like a more plasticky feeling, especially here in the handlebar. There's no like leatherette trim here on the top, but it does not feel like a cheap stroller. Like it feels still like a bugaboo quality stroller. It's just not going to have like every single one of the features on like a fully set up I don't know, donkey or, or fox or lynx or whatever it is. But I find the push very, very smooth. And then lastly, one of my favorite things about using this shoulder on a daily basis is I don't fold it to put it in the back of my car. I simply lift it up, I put the handlebar down, and I pop it into the back of my Honda Odyssey, and then I don't even have to worry about folding and unfolding a shoulder, which is a pretty cool feature of a micro stroller like this one, the Bugaboo Ant. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Megan Kingsford. I also have a hashtag Megan Loves a Bugaboo, which you'll see a ton of photos of my family using this stroller, the donkey and the bee. So don't forget to go check that out as well. And I'll see you guys in a video super soon. Bye.